Hello, and in today's edition of Microsoft Tech Talk, we're taking a quick look at a new feature in Teams called Transcription. I'm joined today by Lou Howland, uh, who's on this meeting so that we can demonstrate this latest feature. Um, Microsoft Transcription is really a step up from the sort of the captioning feature that's been around for a little while now. Um, captioning has been a, a tool that you can use to um, to get live captions or subtitles, which has been brilliant if you've got callers who are hard of hearing or who are watching um, a meeting perhaps from a you know public transport for example where it's harder for them to have the the sound on um, transcription is different transcription allows us to do live um, text-based recording and minuting of meetings so really good if you want to record a meeting as a set of minutes without having to have someone take notes so it's a step up from the meeting notes function which allowed you to sort of manually type this is going to do the typing for you so just a couple of uh, admin points on this. Firstly, transcription needs to be turned on by your system admin. So we will post on our um, on our blog about how to do that. It's a very simple um, slider button in the admin console that your system admin will need to enable in order for transcription to work throughout your 365 tenant. Once that's done, the feature is available for planned meetings. So it isn't something that works if we just meet now. So this is a meeting that I've invited Lou to and only the meeting organizer can start the transcription process. So I'm the meeting organizer in this case. So let me show you how it's done. So on the more actions, the little three dot ellipse at the top of my meeting, if I just click on that. And you will see that just below the recording options down here, I have this uh, feature called start transcription and it's as simple as pressing that. Just takes a moment to kick in and all of the users in the call will receive the pop up that you can see at the top of my screen, uh, just letting them know that the call is being transcripted. Just dismiss that. And what you can see along the right hand side of my screen is that Microsoft is now um, turning my voice into words. And it's more than that. It's recording the fact that it's my microphone speaking. So, Lou, if I just ask you a quick question, can you see transcription OK on your screen? Yes, I can. And you can see there that in transcription, it knows from the meeting notes that that was Lou speaking. Um, and this will work with multiple callers in the meeting. So really brilliant way of taking minutes um, without having to have anybody type things down so this happens automatically um lou on your screen at the moment you don't automatically see the transcript so you're not being distracted by that are you no yeah i have to enable it so if lou wanted to see what was being recorded in the transcript and again we'll post a screen grab in the video but again on the more options um uh, ellipse there she will have the ability to show or hide the transcript just by selecting that option and when I'm ready to turn off transcription as the meeting organiser, I can just press stop transcription. But Lou, you don't have the option to stop the transcription. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, I can only show it or hide it. Excellent. And you can see just how accurate uh, the recording is as we're speaking. It uh, really is doing a, a great job of understanding what we're saying and understanding which one of us is speaking at the time. So I will stop the um, transcription. And it just records the fact that transcription has now stopped. Lou, I think you've got a pop up now that's told you the same. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, I have. Excellent. So um, that's recorded word by word what's been said in this meeting. Um, and when the meeting ends, it takes a little while. It takes 10 or 15 minutes, I think. Um, but the transcription of that meeting is now going to appear in the meeting notes for this particular meeting. If I want to see the transcription of this meeting, I can see it in two different places. I can either go into my calendar and I can go back into the appointment. And if I go into the, uh, the meeting notes, then at the top here, I have an option for uh, the meeting transcription. So I can go back, as I say, it doesn't happen immediately. Uh, we'll do some technical magic uh, to uh, to show it on this recording, but uh, it, it does take uh, a few moments to appear. 
So going into the calendar appointment, I will be able to see alongside where I used to see just meeting notes, I'll have the option to to show the meeting transcription. Also, it will appear in the chat for this particular meeting. So um, as you probably know, if you've been in a meeting, it does create a chat window for you. And again, if I just go into the chat window for this particular meeting, then along the top, I have the option to uh, to look at the transcription. So there you have it, um, the transcription service in Microsoft Teams. As I say, just a reminder of those admin points to use this across your organization, your Office 365 administrator needs to turn on the option in the admin settings. And again, in our blog post, we'll show a little window, uh, a, a little picture showing you how to do that. It's a very simple process. Um, and this feature is available for the meeting organizer only to, uh, to control. Hope you found today's video useful. Thanks for your time, Lou. Thanks very much. Loads more tips around Teams and Microsoft 365 on our website at ramsack.com forward slash blog.